Uh. Yeah, I see him in the street struggling, young, dumb, and thugging, give a fuck about nothing. Stuck at rock bottom, trying to come up on something. Pumping from sundown to sun. What's up, guys? Street Justice here. Welcome back to my channel. We are back for the reaction to Game of Thrones on this Game of Thrones Thursday. This is season four, episode two The Lion and the Rose. And that might actually be the first title where I think I understand what it's referencing. I'm guessing the lion is Joffrey, while the rose represents Marjorie because it's about dang time we finally get to the royal wedding. I've been wanting to see it since like mid-season three, and here we are. So hopefully we finally get to see it this episode. But the one thing I wanted to bring up before we actually jump in this episode is the one actor I was discussing a little bit for the season premiere, and that's Pedro Pascal. You guys let me know his full name because... You already know he's going to be starring in HBO's The Last of Us TV series coming out next year, which I'm really looking forward to because I'm such a huge fan of the games, but I'm not too familiar with him as an actor. I know he starred in The Mandalorian, which I've never seen. I've never really been into Star Wars, uh, and he was also in the sequel to Wonder Woman. So, yeah, I'm hoping he does well in the role because he's playing a character that I really care about. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping a close eye on his performance in this show. If you guys want to keep a close eye on my full reactions to the show, the link to my Patreon is is down in the description below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a very good time to click that button down below. Smash the like button while you're there. With that said, let's jump right in. Let's check it out. Let's go. Who is this now? If you make it out of the woods, you win. Run, Dundee! Run! God damn. Fine shot, wasn't it, Reek? Fine shot, master. Oh, Reek, don't cry. Wow, he's keeping Theo oh, like that, eh? No. Ugh. A toast to the proud Lannister children, the dwarf, the cripple, and the mother of madness. <laughs> I'll choose. No, I'll do it. He's still learning how to handle it. wipe my own ass. You're the Lord Commander now. Come on. Let others do the fighting. When was the last time Father used a sword? I'm not Father. I'm the Kingslayer. You need a proper discreet swordsman. As it happens, I have just the one. Him and Brian? Ah. Damn. Old warrior you are attacking a man when his guard's down. Teaching already. Attack a man. Ah. Oh, close to the edge there. Father, welcome home. Waldo, this is Ramsay Snow, my bastard. A pleasure, mother. Hello. Where is your prize? With the hounds. I'll have a look at him. I hear you took a hand from the Kingslayer. Of course, Where's those two get along. Of know. course. Father? Theon is a shell of his former self. It flared him. Peeled a few bits. Removed a few others. This was Balin Greyjoy's son and heir. We've been flaying our enemies for a thousand years. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. Oh. You're not a Bolton, you're a Snow. Theon was a valuable hostage, not your plaything. I wanted to trade him for Moat Kaelin. I already asked. This kid's stepping out of line. I had to smuggle myself into my own lands thanks to the great joys. I needed Theon. Theon was our enemy. But Reek. Reek will never betray us. I place far too much trust in you. Yeah. Even Bolton knows. Give him the razor. Yo, what's the stop Theon from just slicing his throat? I mean, he's got to be thinking about it. Your Grace, it is my honor to present you with this wedding cup. May you and my daughter Marjorie drink deep and live long. Handsome goblet, my lord. He's actually being respectful? Damn, Marjorie's definitely got him under control. She's the whore I told you about. I've brought to the Tower of the Hound before the wedding. 
No. Book? The lives of four kings. Now that the war is won, we should all find time for wisdom. Thank you, Uncle. Who the hell is this guy? I think Tywin just got him on a short leash. One of only two Valyrian steel swords in the capital, Your Grace. Oh, careful, Your Grace. Nothing cuts like Valyrian steel. So they say. <laughs> Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. Fuck this kid. She better listen. Don't. What's wrong, my lion? Don't call me that. There's a ship waiting in the harbor bound for Pentos. Just be what? honest with her. You'll have your own cabin, of course. Look, my father's ready to, to kill you right now. I'm listen not going to Shay. We'll listen, Shay. It's like you said. I am yours and you are mine. You're a whore! How many men have you been with? Five hundred? Five thousand? Ah, uh, that's heartbreaking. Hear us now! Fire! I saved you well! Lord of Light, show us the way. Lead us from the dark. Please, no! Lord of Light, protect us! For the night is dark and full of terrors! Brand using his vision powers. Hodor. No, called it. I was just eating. Summer was eating. Your body can't live on the food your wolf consumes. And it's tempting. If you're trapped in summer for too long, you'll forget what it was to be human. And if we lose you, we lose everything. Oh, is it finally going down? The royal wedding. Let it be known that Marjorie of House Tyrell and Joffrey of the Houses Lannister and Baratheon are one heart, one flesh, one soul. With this kiss, I pledge my love. It's officially official. <laughs> this is definitely like extravagant. They went all out. You saw her board the ship. Aye, she's on it. And you saw the ship sail away. No one knows she's there but you, me, and Paris. Someone following them. She's gone. I hope you so. I believe it, but she is. Now, go drink until it feels like you did the right thing. You look exquisite, child. It's a cool shot, but we're not. The has been at you, though. I haven't had the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was to hear about your brother. War is war, but killing a man at a wedding. Horrid. What sort of monster would do such a thing? There's been too much amusement here today. A royal wedding is not an amusement. What? A royal wedding is history. My lords. My ladies. What is he up to? I give you King Joffrey. Friendly. <laughs> it's hard to even be mad at Joffrey because this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> this is definitely distasteful. I'm the king of the north! <laughs> Sansa right there. Well, at least Joffrey was pleased. Well fought. Uncle, you can be my cupbearer, seeing as you're too cowardly to fight. Your grace does me a great honor. It's not meant as an honor. Kneel. Kneel before your king. And it never ends either. I said, kneel! Yo. It's challenging him. Look, the pie! Once again, Marjorie stepping up. It's not over, though. <laughs> Wonderful! Killed a couple. Uncle! Where are you going? You're my top there, remember? I thought I might change out of these wet clothes, Your Grace. Oh, no, no, no. 
perfect the way you are. If it please your grace, Lady Sansa, it's no. very tight. <coughs> no, you'll wait here. <coughs> is he choking on the pie? <gasps> He's choking! I'm the poor boy! <laughs> Was it poison? Did he do it? Oh! Joffrey is gone. Did we just see the last of Joffrey? Holy hell! Joffrey? is dead. We did it. This is only episode two. This isn't episode nine. He poisoned my son. What? Your king, take him. Take him! Take him! Take him! All right, guys, that was Game of Thrones season four, episode two, The Lion and the Rose. And I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but I'm pretty happy with what just occurred at the end of that episode. I did not expect that. I did not see that coming, but I did not shed any tears at this wedding. That's for dang sure. And if I did, when I play back my reaction, they were happy tears. I guarantee you that. What an episode. This was only episode two. That's the crazy thing. To have an epic death, an epic moment like this in only the second episode of the season, this is gonna set off a lot of shit too, but now I can see why why a lot of you guys were saying that this is the best season of Game of Thrones and why I w I'm gonna enjoy it because I definitely enjoyed what I just witnessed. I'm already freaking loving this season. Whew. I just need to have like a moment of silence there before previously, <laughs> after the Red Wedding, I had to get up and leave, needed a moment to like collect my thoughts and just I don't know, just needed a moment to settle down. Now, I need a moment just to respect the greatness that we just witnessed because I'm so happy. That was one of the greatest moments <laughs> of this entire series so far. I need to collect my thoughts, but in a, a different way because what do I say after that? I've been wanting to see Joffrey dead since I think episode two when he had his little fight with Arya and he was responsible for the dire wolf being killed. I freaking love this moment. This was incredible. What an episode. The end of this episode too, the way they were building up to something, I thought he was gonna do something to Tyrion because when Tyrion didn't kneel, man, he was challenging the king, you know? Like, <laughs> I was expecting something bad to happen there. And then previously too, I was expecting something even worse to happen to Shay because once we saw that one scene with Cersei letting Tywin know that, hey, that's the brunette, that's the one right there. And then we already know how stubborn Shay is. So the fact that they actually got her to leave, and I still don't even know if she actually did, if she snuck off the boat or something, because it's almost too good to be true. Otherwise, what, is she gonna pop up in a later season or maybe even later on this season? Like, I, I, don't, I feel like she's not actually gone. I could be wrong with that. I hope she is. Hopefully she got on the boat, she was sent away heartbroken. Yes, that sucks, but at the same time, I'm surprised she didn't catch on with what Tyrion was doing because she's super smart. She's a smart girl. And to not realize why Tyrion's kind of pushing her away in that moment, I, I thought she would pick up on it, but that's okay. I'm sure she, she's thinking and she's running everything through her head on, her, on that boat on her way to wherever she's being sent to. I didn't catch where they're sending her, but apparently she's gonna be rich living out the remainder of her days as a rich woman, but I highly doubt that that's the last that we're gonna see of her. I just hope if we do see her again, it's in a positive light. She did make her way out of King's Landing. She's safe from the Lannisters and Tywin and Cersei and them. She s escaped and we don't see her like killed or Tywin captured her before she could actually get away because that will kill me. She's someone I don't want to see dead, but We've seen many times there's no happy ending in this show but with that said back to the ending of this episode if i just stopped watching this show right now then this series had a happy ending <laughs> because i loved <laughs> the ending moments of this episode oh my god joffrey is no more we actually saw the death of the king joffrey killed it looks like it was by the jester though which was like the least or the last person that i would ever suspect to actually take out the king 
and I'm pretty sure at the same time we we didn't receive any actual confirmation that he was the one to do it, but everything's pointing to him being the one, him being the culprit because he went up to Sansa, who he's had a relationship with, not obviously not a love relationship, just like as a friend, because she saved his life, and now he's trying to save hers. He's like, you, know, you got to leave right now. But I don't think it was the wine though, because every everyone was drinking it, and it was right in front of everyone where he poured it, right? It was the actual pie or whatever that the doves flew out of once he actually sliced it open. I'm pretty sure that that's where the poison came from, and that was the actual reasoning for his death, but I could be wrong there. Uh, I'll see, see more once I actually play it back when, I was, when I'm editing the reaction, but yeah, that, that was a moment that I did not see coming. That was some crazy shit. Marjorie seemed to know, I don't know. Did, did Marjorie know? Did she suspect something? Was she... Did she play a part of it? I'm trying to collect my thoughts here, exactly what I just witnessed and who was all involved in what would what just went down because obviously no one's upset that Joffrey's done now. Who's gonna be the king now? Who's next in line to be the king? That's another question that I wasn't even thinking about. I was so caught up in Joffrey being killed and the excitement and the extravagant wedding and just the pure greatness that I just witnessed. I don't even know what happens now. Obviously, a lot of shit is going to come from this, like, all the blame with the Tyrion, like, holy heck, this is going to set off a lot of shit, and I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that's going to come from this that I'm not even thinking about, that I'm not even prepared for right now, but as of right now, Tyrion's the one being blamed, he's going to be locked up or something, Tywin didn't really seem to buy it, but at the same time, he wasn't really fighting Tyrion being locked up, he doesn't really care about Tyrion, Cersei was adamant, you killed my son. Clearly, she she did not play a part in his death, so that's interesting. Jamie gave an interesting look, too. He looked over. He's just trying to, like, take everything in, too. He didn't really seem to have a part of it. This is, like, going to be... I don't, I don't think it's... A, I was going to say it's going to be, like, a murder mystery, but at the same time, I think we already know who the culprit was and that being the jester, right? Unless it was someone else, and he was just simply just trying to save. He knew shit was going down, and he was just trying to save Sansa. Ah. <sighs> craziness so crazy i'm trying to think some other th things that went down this episode but that clearly it's like the red wedding that's overtaking everything else that i witnessed that's clearly the main thing that uh, has to be discussed we also saw brand this episode he's clearly developing his vision skills where he can take over animals but one thing that we did learn because he was saying that he's hungry this episode while he was out as the dire wolf and i and i completely understand why he's doing that too he obviously doesn't he can't move he can't walk anymore because of what happened in the very first episode of the series so i don't blame him for wanting to like run once again and just being free as the wolf but we did learn this episode his time spent away the longer he goes if he does feed as the wolf it doesn't actually feed his hunger in his actual body so that that's very interesting but i i don't know what's going to come with that definitely something's going to come of it i'm surprised they haven't linked up with Jon Snow just yet, but I'm sure that's coming. We'll probably see that within the next couple episodes, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then we also saw the bastard son of Bolton, and we caught up with Bolton too. It's, their relationship seems very interesting because he doesn't really seem to care about his bastard son, and his bastard son just wants to gain the love of his father at the same time. He's psycho. Like, he clearly messed up with Theon. We now see the... what like the toll that it's taken on Theon. We also saw this very episode, Theon, or Reek, he had the razor blade to his throat, the bastard's throat, and he could have sliced him up. He could have killed him right then and there. And I am pretty sure I yelled out, redeem yourself, now's your chance, Theon. But at the same time, it would have been smart, but does he even care to live? Like clearly he's doing what it takes to survive at this point, but he's, he's broken, man. He's a shell of his former self, so. Yeah, he's basically dead already, but he was contemplating actually slicing his throat right then and there. And Bol Bolton was even looking over too, like, this guy could kill my bastard son. He has the opportunity. This is his chance if he's going to do it. But <sighs> I guess his main motivation right now is just to survive. And that's exactly what he did for the moment. I hope he does take a shot at him later on. We shall, we shall see, but yeah. Guys, this episode was crazy. We saw the death of King Joffrey, King No More. What an episode. I freaking loved it. Season 4 has been freaking killing it. It's off to a great start. I, 
If this is the start of it, what is to come for the remainder of this season? As always, definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys can like and subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Until next time, I am out. Enjoy your day. I am certainly gonna enjoy mine. Peace. Well, I didn't smoke enough for you, didn't drink enough for you, wasn't fun enough for you, wasn't good enough for you, did. You play me like a yo-yo and shit. Well, I'm not the one to be yo-yo and with you, but